There were no surprises. No. Um, well, you've moved pretty quickly, though, to change things fairly significantly, haven't you? Yes, because I felt it was essential to do that yeah. right Why? away. Why? Well, the, the structure of the company that had been changed um, uh, you know, by my, 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 I guess my successor and my predecessor, by Bob, um, and he had a reason why he wanted to do that, and he articulated that. But it, it, it created a, a huge divide between the creative side of the company, the content engines, movies and television, and the monetization distribution side of the company. And while I think he, again, he had you know, certain maybe valid reasons why he wanted to do that at that time, it was very, very apparent to me, both while I was out and when I came back, that that was a mistake. Uh, that there had to be a direct linkage, that the people making the content had to be fully accountable for how it performed in the marketplace and have some say in how it was brought to market. Timing to market, um, pricing, marketing, very, very important. Um, how much to make, how much to spend. And that uh, distance that was created by that structure I don't think was healthy for this company um, at this time. And so my first step was to say that I was going to change that. And it took me a couple of months to actually design with the senior team you know, what we would change it to, and that's what we announced yesterday. Right. Um, that announcement, that reorganization, um, and the, what is it, we have four people, right? Yes. Who are, who are, who are four running people, three like key divisions. Three key divisions. Mm -hmm. um, is any one a priority for you over the other? Well, I said yesterday on our call, streaming is a priority. You know, as you look at the businesses that we've been in, both movies and television, put parks aside for a minute, it's very, very clear that the disruptive forces created by technology have had a real impact on those businesses, particularly the legacy part of those businesses. And streaming is the future. It's not the only future, but it, it looms large in terms of the future and eventually will grow to the point where it is not only profitable, but turns into a growth business for the company. So we must make that transition. Look, we've already transitioned to it. Now we have to transition it into a growth business. Yeah. I, you know, you and I obviously sat down together in April of 2019 when you announced the streaming business, Disney yeah. Plus. And I, and I wonder, we had this conversation then, Bob, which is, can you ever fully replace the profitability of the linear cable business with direct-to-consumer? You know, three years in, or almost four, it would seem perhaps the answer is no. Well, I don't agree with that. Um, obviously, that has not happened to date. But if you, if you think about it, in the last, since we sat down in 2019, we've seen consumption of television and movies actually increase globally. So if consumption is increasing, we're in the business basically of serving those consumers that want to obviously watch what we make. And streaming is, for them, uh, I, I think a very pro-consumer method or means of doing that. So you've got a consumer base that's growing and avid in terms of its, its interest in what we make. You have a technology that is serving them well and actually serving us well, too. It's, very great. it's a great technology to distribute content on, as we proved. Yes. Like going back for a minute, it's just interesting. When we sat down in April of 2019 to talk about the launch of Disney+, Plus, our goal was not publicized, but our goal at the time was to sign up 4 million subs in a year. We signed up 10 million subs in 24 hours in one day. I remember. That's an incredibly successful launch. But it speaks volumes about what we're just talking about. People, one, they want our content. Two, they want it that way. So if you have that much demand and we have the ability to essentially serve the consumer well using that technology, then profitability, in my opinion, is inevitable. You have to manage it well. You have to spend appropriately. You have to price appropriately. You have to time it to market appropriately. But it will work. It is working. Look, there's tremendous consumption. You have 104 on those million platforms. subscribers.